Let's get to Chief Meteorologist Mike Everett now. Take a look at the first alert forecast, which, well, I don't know what it includes at this point. Okay. It depends, depends on where you are. <laughs> You're going to like it because we've got a little bit of work to do. Thursday and Friday, the system rolls through. But then as we get towards the weekend, there will be, wait for it, some sun breaks and actually a bit of a break in the action as well. We've taken a bit of a break right now. This is Bellingham. And first of all, look at the water. It's just completely glassy. You can see the reflection of the masts in the foreground there. And skies are looking pretty good there as well. The remnants of that full moon from last night still fully visible in the eastern sky. Another thing that's interesting about what happened up to the north today is the temperatures. We took yesterday and basically inverted it where we had a lot of 50s down towards the south. We had a lot of 50s up towards the north today, including Arlington. To Oak Harbor, Mount Vernon, Bellingham, and Friday Harbor. Well played. So here's what we can expect moving forward. We do have some changes as the low pressure system kind of moves on shore here. It's going to pick up the winds on Thursday. Foothill gap winds, it sounds kind of confusing. They will be easterly winds coming through a lot of our gaps or a lot of our mountain passes there. And so from some of our foothill communities, especially along the western edge of the Cascades, could get gusty. So places like North Bend, Issaquah, the Renton Highlands, you can see some winds that will get up to about 30, even 40 miles an hour. City rain and mountain snow will move in, especially down towards some of our southern counties. I'll show you that in a moment and then mostly quiet weekend with some sun breaks. And then I'm especially excited about moving those clocks forward early on Sunday morning. Yes, we lose an hour of sleep, but we also get a lot more daylight, especially in the evenings there. New system arrives on Sunday night that will remind us that yes, that we are still in winter for at least the next couple of weeks. So here's what's going on. Remember the last low that we had just kind of sunk to the south and then just dissipated. This one's going to hang out and it will eventually move on shore. So this is right Thursday into Friday morning there. We'll start to see some of that low level rain and mountain snow picking up and down towards the south with all eyes on California for a very different reason. All of that snow is about to get rained on in a big kind of way there that could create some flash flooding concerns for our friends down there. We'll monitor that closely throughout the weekend. Meanwhile, as we go towards Saturday, take a look at this. We get a little ridge that will build in and give us a break there, get some sunshine and then that new system will move in late on Sunday. So for the short term, we're just tracking some showers that are coming up from the south and southeast, manifesting as snow off towards the far east there. Chelan, Omax, Stevens Pass, Darrington, seeing some of that snow that's coming through from the south and east there. We'll see some low-level snow down towards the southwest interior tomorrow, but that'll convert over to rain fairly quickly. So by the time we get into the evening commute, we'll be tracking some showers along the southern portion of the I-5 corridor. Fast forward to Friday morning, and now some of those showers will transition up towards the northern portion of the I-5 corridor. In fact, all the way up to towards the Canadian border, and we'll see some more steady snow across the rest of the Cascades there. Then we go to about 7 p.m. on Friday. We're just going to bat a little bit of cleanup for the evening commute there, and then we will get a little bit of a break as we go into the weekend. In fact, we'll start Saturday off with some abundant sunshine, and we'll do our best to keep it throughout the weekend. We'll also do our best to get ourselves in the 50s. We've got plenty of opportunities to do that, and we'll be moving those clocks forward early Sunday morning.